for this one I'm going to be talking about indexes. Now essentially what an index is, is like uh, for example for the USD you have, um, I think it's, oh sorry, I believe it's, I think it's DXY, yeah. So DXY gives you relative direction or strength of like uh, all the dollar pairs. So this is um, this is the dollar in itself as like a as like a market as a chart. So if if this would be melting, you would be wanting to sell USDJPY and buy in Euro USD, um, and vice versa. So if this is going up, you want to be buying USDJPY and selling Euro USD. Um, so let me just uh, essentially give you an understanding of what the index actually is. So these pairs are basically, this is basically a code up here. This is a code, right? And it's basically combining all of, like, for example, this is the AUD. So it combines all the AUD pairs to give a macro bias and strength indicator for the pair in general. Um, wouldn't you wouldn't really use this for the lower time frames as it's literally just to provide macro direction so if you see this here strong rejection and we're going up 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 you wouldn't want to be going to sell let's just say AUD USD you see how that looks similar wick rejection move to the upside and if you come to the indicator wick rejection move to the upside so this gives a really good uh, indication of um, how strong something is and this should give you just like the macro direction the macro bias so for example in here we saw that there was an inefficiency that we literally came in and tapped the 50 so if we go to AUD USD for example we again we had some form of inefficient price action over here that we came to fill in and if you go to any other um, AUD pairs let's just say AUD JPY again inefficient price action that we came to fulfill and you could have been taking your positions um, because you know that across the board price will have to come in fill this inefficient price action and continue this macro direction um, besides that I don't really have much to really talk about there's for example GBP ones obviously you wouldn't really you, as I said you're only using this for like your macro direction so if you see this having strength to the upside you don't really want to be selling any GBP pairs. So if you go to, for example, GBP, JPY, see, macro direction, this is strong to the upside. Now, um, if you look at, uh, you have obviously these codes here. I'm going to, you, how you'd add these is you'd come here and you'd have to type out the entire codes. So all of this you see here, you'd have to type this up. So you'd have to type, it's, all, it's divided by 7, so you have like the average, right? So you'd have to type AUD USD plus everything else, and then you just add it, and you should just add it as an index, as an extra confluence. If you're looking to a long or shorter pair, you're like, hold on, let me look at the index. Let me see how, how relative its strength is. Let me see how well it's doing. And then, yeah, it should just give you that extra, like, you know, that extra thumbs up, that extra confirmation for your trade setups. I'm going to, I'm going to add... I'm gonna, probably going to, hmm, you know what, I'll add these codes under the video. So under the video, I'll caption it and you can just copy and paste it into your, um, into your trading view. If you need any help, if you, if you don't really understand any of this, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Like, for example, NCD, USD, you see this is long-term downtrending. So if you go to like, sorry, this is the NZD index. So if you go to NZD, USD long term it looks pretty much the same you see it downtrending yeah it just gives you like a um, an indication right so yeah uh, to be honest that's all I have to really talk about with indexes uh, if you guys have any questions feel free to message me the codes for the indexes will be down below if you need help adding them just feel free to message me besides that thank you guys for listening and on to the next